Hi friends, Tilly here. And I promised to show you a little bit of what's going on still yet for the wedding. And we've got Mama of the Bride and Mama of the Groom and then old Grandma here uh, putting together the bells. I think I told you, but forgive the shaking because I'm hand. this is being handheld right now and you know me. Um, these are the German bells that we made up and I'm not going to move too fast. And these are the little almonds, little wedding almonds that we put in um, the netting and then putting them inside the German bells and attaching the tag with the poem on it that is made for the bride and groom. And they're being cut out with the uh, fancy uh, with the fancy cutter and then we're backing them on um, a piece of cardstock and the poem reads five sugared almonds for each guest to eat to remind us of life is both bitter and sweet five wishes for the new husband and wife health wealth happiness children and long life and then the children's name and the date of the wedding. So that's what we're doing here today is getting all these bells done. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye for now. Hi friends, Tilly here. And I have uh, the picture board done. And what you're looking at is burlap um, that I used uh, Martha Stewart uh, fabric stiffener on and put it around the side and down the, uh, I mean, across the top and down the side of the um, photo frame. Um, the uh, groom's mama found this frame and it's actually filled with cork. Um, and I covered it with some burlap and then put the photos on and you can't really see but I have um, the tiniest little um, pin heads maybe I don't know maybe this one um, I have the tiniest little pins um, here if you can see um, and I used my fine tip and I used the glossy accents and I put uh, beads on top of each one of the little pins. I tried the um, I, I tried the pop dots, the big ones, and they're not holding. The photos just slid down the side. Uh, and I did forget to mention um, in the uh, first part of this video when I did the German bells that um, it's Auntie Bernie that I got the uh, pattern from for the origami um, bells that we have the uh, wedding almonds in. You know what? I'm noticing myself saying, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you guys put up with a lot from me. But anyway, um, that's the photo board that's completed. And uh, that will go next to the uh, cake on a, on a stand. So, um, let's see. I... Um right now, I've finished doing the satin, um, I, you know, from her uh, wedding album. She doesn't know about that part yet, but um, from the wedding album that I'm putting together for her, the satin and lace wedding album, I had a lot of satin left over, and so I just merely used my dye um, that cuts the big petals, uh, flower petals, and I cut out, uh, just kept running them through, and got a whole ton of petals. I did use some uh, glue uh, mixed, uh, very little glue, a lot of water, and but, but soaked or, or painted them on with foam brush just to give the petals a, a little bit more uh, uh, a little bit more stability. They were awfully floppy little things. And so in order for the little um, flower girl to, to reach in her basket and throw some out, I wanted to give it a little bit more stability. So I just painted it with a, painted the uh, um, petals with a, a, a real light glue and water mixture and they turned out just fine. So um, I think I'm trying to think if there's anything left that Grandma needs to do. 
for the wedding. If I think of anything or if I make anything more, I will certainly do a video on it. And um, pretty soon you're going to actually see some video of the wedding. Yay! So this is Tilly, and I thank you for going through this wedding with me. Uh, my first, uh, first grandchild getting married and, you know, just excited about it. So um, that's all for now, and I thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye, folks.